Deuteronomy 28. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and your young and your livestock, the calves of your herds, the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven directions. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns, on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on oath. If you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all the peoples of the earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground, in the land he swore to your forefathers to give you. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today, not to the right nor to the left, following other gods and serving them. However, if you do not obey the Lord your God, and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I'm giving you today, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. You will be cursed in the city and cursed in the country. Your basket and your kneading trough will be cursed. The fruit of your womb will be cursed and the crops of your land and the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. You will be cursed when you come in and cursed when you go out. The Lord will send on you curses, confusion, and rebuke in everything you put your hand to until you are destroyed and have come to sudden ruin because of the evil you have done in forsaking him. The Lord will plague you with diseases until he has destroyed you from the land you are entering to possess. The Lord will strike you with wasting disease, with fever and inflammation, with scorching heat and drought, with blood light and mildew, which will plague you until you perish. The sky over your head will be bronze, the ground beneath you, iron. The Lord will turn the rain of your country into dust and powder. It will come down from the skies until you are destroyed. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will come at them from one direction, but you will flee from them in seven. You will become a thing of terror and horror to the kingdoms of the earth. Your carcasses will be food for all the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, and there will be no one to frighten them away. The Lord will afflict you with the boils of Egypt and with tumors, festering sores, and the itch from which you cannot be cured. The Lord will afflict you with madness, blindness, and confusion of mind. At midday you will grope about like a blind man in the dark. You will be unsuccessful in everything you do. Day after day you will be oppressed and robbed with no one to rescue you. You will be pledged to be married to a woman, but another will take her and ravish her. You will build a house, but you will not live in it. You will plant a vineyard, but you will not even begin to enjoy its fruit. Your ox will be slaughtered before your eyes, but you will eat none of it. Your donkey will be forcibly taken from you and will not be returned. Your sheep will be given to your enemies and no one will rescue them. Your sons and daughters will be given to another nation and you will wear out your eyes watching for them day after day. Powerless to lift a hand, a people that you do not know will eat what your hand and labor produce and you will have nothing but cruel oppression all your days. The sight you see will drive you mad. The Lord will afflict your knees and leg with painful boils that cannot be cured, spreading from the soles of your feet to the top of your head. 
The Lord will bring you and the king you set over you to a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known. There you shall serve other gods of wood and stone. And you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Lord will drive you. You shall carry much seed out to the field, but gather little in, for the locust shall consume it. You will plant vineyards and tend them, but you will neither drink of the wine nor gather the grape, for the worms shall eat them. You will have olive trees throughout all your territory, but you will not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olives shall drop off. You will beget sons and daughters, but they will not be yours, for they will go into captivity. Locusts will consume all your trees and the produce of your land. The alien who is among you will rise higher and higher above you, and you shall come down lower and lower. Many shall lend to you, but you will not lend to them. They shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. Moreover, all these curses will come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. They will be upon you for a sign and a wonder and on your descendants forever because you did not serve the Lord your God with joy and gladness of heart for the abundance of everything. Therefore, you shall serve your enemies, whom the Lord will send against you in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, in need of everything, and he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you will not understand. A nation of fierce countenance, which does not respect the elderly nor show favor to the young. And they shall eat the increase of your livestock and the produce of your land until you are destroyed. They will not leave you grain or new wine or oil or the increase of your cattle or the offspring of your flocks until they have completely destroyed you. They shall besiege you at your gates until your high and fortified walls in which you trust come down throughout all your land. And they shall besiege you at all your gates throughout all your land, which the Lord your God has given you. You shall eat of the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and daughters whom the Lord your God has given you in the siege and desperate straits in which your enemy shall distress you. The sensitive and the very refined man among you will be hostile toward his brother, toward the wife of his bosom, toward the rest of his children whom he leaves behind so that he will not give any of them the flesh of his children whom he will eat because he has nothing left in the siege and the desperate straits in which your enemy shall distress you at all your gates. The tender and delicate woman among you who would not venture to set the sole of her foot on the ground because of her delicateness and sensitivity will refuse to the husband of her bosom and to the son of her daughter her placenta which comes out from between her feet, and her children whom she bears, for she will eat them secretly for lack of everything in the siege and desperate straits in which your enemy shall distress you at your gates. If you do not carefully observe all the words of this law which are written in this book, that you may fear his glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God. Then the Lord will bring on you and your descendants extraordinary plagues, great and prolonged plagues, and serious and prolonged sicknesses. Moreover, he will bring on you all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid, and they will cling to you. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in this book of the law will the Lord bring upon you until you are destroyed. You will be left few in number. Whereas you were once the stars of heaven in multitude, because you would not obey the voice of the Lord your God. And it shall be that just as the Lord rejoiced over you to do good and multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to nothing. And you shall be plucked from off the land which you go to possess. Then... The Lord will scatter you among the peoples from one end of the earth to the other, and there you will serve other gods which neither you nor your fathers have known, gods of wood and stone. And among those nations you shall find no rest, nor shall the sole of your foot have a resting place, but there the Lord will give you a trembling heart, failing eyes, and anguish of soul. 
Your life shall hang in doubt before you. You shall fear day and night and have no assurance of life. In the morning you shall say, Oh, that it were evening. And at the evening you shall say, Oh, that it were morning. Because of the fear which terrifies your heart. And because of the sight which your eyes see. And the Lord will take you back to Egypt in ships by the way of which I said to you, You shall never see it again. And there you will be offered for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves. But no one will buy you.